The main advantage of the deep flap is that it gives the most natural result of all the different types of reconstruction. The skin and fat from the abdomen feels very much like the breast tissue that was removed, so the reconstructed breast feels more natural than an implant. It also looks the most natural because it can be shaped and adjusted to closely match what was removed. The deep flap procedure is a bigger operation than placing a tissue expander, with an average hospital stay of three to four nights and an average time off of work of six weeks. But since an implant isn't used, there wouldn't be as much chance of needing additional surgery to correct problems later. The deep flap is also an excellent option when a patient has had complications with implant-based reconstruction or is not happy with the result. Removing tissue from the abdomen does cause some pain and leaves a scar in this area, but it also allows patients to have excess tissue removed similar to a tummy tuck, which may also be an advantage. In order to be a candidate for the deep flap, a patient would need to have some excess tissue in the abdomen. Some patients may be too thin to get back to their previous size, or may have so much in the abdomen that they end up larger. In most of these cases, options exist to get acceptable symmetry. The deep flap has replaced the tram flap in our practice. The tram flap didn't require microsurgical technique and expertise, but it removed one of the major muscles of the abdominal wall, resulting in more pain and weakness and a longer hospitalization and recovery period.